Hello viewers, welcome to Joya's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing very, very healthy, very, very happy, very, very good. Today I'm going to show you one of uh, my simple, simple and very healthy, yummy chicken recipe. Uh, I don't have very particular name for it, but I call it chicken in yogurt and ketchup gravy because it's sometimes it's very difficult to find a name for a dish. But at the same time, this is one of the yummy, yummy, yummy dish. Just because the name is ugly, don't think that the dish is not good. You can already see the picture. It's amazing and it's so simple to make. When Whenever you have chicken at home and you are not very um, like uh, fond of big cooking, just uh, do this dish and uh, it, you can surprise your family because it's one of the amazing dish. Just stay with me and enjoy the whole process how I do it. So I took here actually three medium sized onion and I've roughly sliced it because I'm gonna do the, um, the paste anyway. But before I do the paste, I'm gonna put it in a microwave for five to six minutes. In that case, the all the rawness from the onion gonna go and it's gonna be a little bit cooked at the same time. And this is the one of the easiest way because sometimes it takes quite long time to cook your onion paste. Otherwise, it tastes bitter. So this is one of the easiest way. So you can see I put it in the microwave for 6 minutes. After that I'm going to show you how nicely it's going to be cooked. So my onion is cooked and you can see how nicely steamed is this. I didn't add anything. Just cut the chop the onion and put it in the microwave for 6 minutes and it's done. And now I'm going to make a paste. And with with the onion I'm going to add here 3 cloves of garlic and 2 inch of ginger and 1 green chili. So 1 green chili, ginger and garlic and now I'm just going to make a paste of it. So in a pan I already added 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Uh, you can cook actually this dish in ghee or butter but I prefer vegetable oil because it's a little bit of a healthy option. And then I added 2 cardamom, uh, 1 to 2 bay leaf and 1 to 2 stick of cinnamon and uh, 1 to 2 uh, clove. So clove, cinnamon, bay leaf and cardamom and I'm gonna fry it for 1 to 2 minutes. So my whole spices are already uh, fried. And now I'm going to add this paste which I made earlier which is onion, ginger, garlic and one green chili. So I already added my uh, paste and already I steamed my onion so it's not that raw. Only I have to cook it around 5 to 6 minutes just to uh, cook the garlic and the ginger because those two ingredients was raw. So I'm going to cook it for around 3 to 4 minutes. At the same time I'm going to actually whisk here. 3 tablespoon of yogurt this is just plain yogurt and around 3 tablespoon of tomato ketchup this is one of the main ingredients for this uh, curry or for this dish so ketchup and yogurt together that's gonna give really nice kind of tanginess richness creaminess in my final dish so you can see and I'm whisking them together I'm just using one spoon because you know it's a home cooked meal and that's going to give really nice kind of color as well, this tomato ketchup. So I've been frying my onion paste nearly 4 to 5 minutes and you can see how nicely it changed its color. It's quite dark now. And this is the time I'm adding here around one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder. This is just like normal coriander powder and I'm adding around one and a half teaspoon. I'm not going to add too much of powdered spice in this uh, dish. And at the same time, around one teaspoon of black crushed black pepper. You can go for black pepper powder as well. That's going to give similar taste. So black pepper and coriander. And at the same time, around one and a half teaspoon of sugar. Because I'm adding uh, uh, ketchup and yogurt and they're quite sour kind of ingredients. So that's why I have to balance the sourness. And that's why this sugar is important. And I'm going to fry it for another two minutes. So after another two minutes, you can see my onion paste is really dark now. And this is the time I'm going to add here around one kilo of chicken leg. Uh, it's actually one kilo chicken leg. I'm using chicken leg, but you can go for the whole chicken or uh, chicken thigh or any kind of like any piece of chicken. Doesn't matter. But I like chicken legs. That's why I chose chicken legs for this dish. So now I'm going to cook my uh, chicken legs with these spices uh, without any water. I'm not going to add any water at this point. Uh, like three to four minutes. I'm just gonna fry it together. In that case, this uh, chicken gonna absorb all the flavor from the pan and it's gonna be a little bit fried as well at the same time. So after around five minutes of frying, you can see my chicken's quite like cooked now because these are like uh, 
soft boiler chicken so they cook very fast and at this point i'm adding my yogurt and ketchup mixture which i made earlier and uh, as I said, this is a soft boiler chicken, so they cook really, really fast. But if you are uh, cooking like hard boiler chicken, maybe they're going to take a little bit longer. So now I'm going to cook these chicken legs with these uh, all ingredients, with these all spices for another six to seven minutes, just like that. So I'm going to cover my pot and I'm going to cook it for seven minutes now. So after 7 minutes of cooking, I uncovered my pot and you can see my chickens are quite done now. It's like 95% is cooked. And now I'm going to add here a few green chilies. Like I'm adding like around 4 to 5 green chili because I really like the flavor of the green chili. But if you are not very spice kind of person, add maybe 2 or 3 and that's going to work as well. And you can see my, I can see the gravy changed its color. So it's ready. So now I'm going to cover my pot for another 3 minutes after, after that it's done. So here you go guys, this is my um, chicken uh, stew or chicken curry or different kind of chicken curry or chicken in tomato and yogurt gravy, whatever you call it, it's just amazing. And what I done, I added some uh, ginger slice crisp on top of it. Actually, this is optional, you can skip that part, but I do it because ginger, this crispy ginger goes really good. It's just I fry some ginger, julienne ginger and that's it. I uh, put it on top of my main dish. You can eat this dish with plain boiled rice, with bread, with chapati, with paratha, with everything. And this is one of the simple, simple way of cooking chicken. And trust me, this is one of the amazing flavorful dish. So I hope you're going to like this recipe and enjoy with your whole family. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with friends, family and neighbors. And yeah, just to watch my videos and inspire me for uh, more cooking and more delicious dish. So here you go. Take care. Bye bye. Tada.